the administration was just about ready to expand this program border-wide when this ruling came down. Of course, it started in California, then it went to Arizona and then Texas. About 1,000 people so far have been asked to stay in Mexico while their case is heard. Mexico agreed to it reluctantly. So families seeking asylum would normally be brought here to the United States, given to a notice of appear. The program said, hey, wait in Mexico. Now, critics complain that migrants had no way of getting an interpreter or seeing their lawyer uh, on a regular basis or couldn't even argue in front of the judge um, about their case. They were being provided transportation up to the U.S., but it was very complicated. And, of course, the idea being make it more difficult and get rid of some of these more frivolous asylum claims. In fact, this uh, ruling came up yesterday in El Paso where a Salvadoran man said, hey, I can't stay in Mexico because I'll be hurt. The U.S. attorney, or rather the U.S. attorney handling the case said, hey, we we won't send you back there. In fact, many families and children were not required to stay in Mexico. President Trump has said all along, criticizing this ruling, say, listen, this is unfair. We're doing the best we can trying to deal with this crisis at the border. Here's what he said. We have bad laws. We have a judge that just ruled incredibly uh, that he doesn't want people staying in Mexico. Uh, figure that one out. Uh, nobody can believe these decisions we're getting from the Ninth Circuit. It's a disgrace. And yet he's going to have to go back to the Ninth Circuit, to the Court of Appeals there, probably a three-judge panel. The problem, of course, is at the border. The solution is in Congress. Last week, we had asked Democrats and Republicans to show us the bills they have addressing this crisis. We got 12 from the GOP, 15 from the Democrats. The amazing part, Julie, is uh, they're opposites. They're living on different planets, and, of course, they're not talking. There is one bill in House Judiciary that would address the asylum situation, the credible fear standard, and amend those things. But Democrats aren't giving any kind of hearing. The bottom line is, um, for, the, for the time being, uh, individuals will be allowed to come into the U.S. given notice to appear they will not be required to stay in Mexico.